Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jamie McQuaid from Magna Forensics and today we're going to go through some advanced acquisition options uh, with Magnet Acquire. So previously we've gone through some other videos of uh, showing you how to acquire devices uh, using the Quake full imaging and that, um, but sometimes that's not always an option and you need to do uh, some more advanced techniques. Um, so that's what we're going to get into today. So um, I've got Magnet Acquire open right here and you can see a familiar situation where you've got an Android phone connected and uh, a local drive. I have a, a one terabyte drive as an extra hard drive here. So we're not going to, we're going to ignore that for today. Um, we're going to focus on this Android device. And we can see here, it's a Samsung device, uh, S model number SMG900W8. This is otherwise known as a Samsung Galaxy S5. The W8 uh, is a Canadian version. So um, that's, uh, that's the device we have here. And we can see it's running uh, um, Android version uh, 6, uh, OS 6. Uh, and its privileged access is no, meaning it is not rooted, does not have any privileged access. Um, so we're going to want to get privileged access to this um, because it's going to give us a bit more. So normally what you would do is you'd see the device here, we'd hit next, we'd select it and hit next, we'd have the two acquisition options, full or quick. Full, what it would do is it would attempt to root the device automatically through acquire and if successful give you a full physical image of this device. Otherwise, if the full fails, if it's not able to root it, which in this case, it, it actually, we don't have a root for this one, so um, it would fail, and then it would give you an option to do a quick acquisition. The quick is basically an ADB backup. We'll also go in and install an agent and pull that data for you. Now, sometimes that's enough and that's what, you, uh, what you're going to get, um, but um, sometimes the backup doesn't have what you need for your investigation. There are other options. Now, just to caveat, these other options are a little bit riskier. So it's going to be a decision based on your investigation, your uh, processes for your lab or your, uh, uh, your team. But um, there are other options available to you. So I would definitely recommend getting the quick as, uh, as your first step here, but we're not going to do that. Um, but at least the, so you have something here. So I'm going to go back to the main screen here and I'm going to choose a different option. I'm going to say the device I'm looking for isn't showing up. And this is normally done if uh, you're looking for drivers. If your device doesn't show up, usually it's a driver issue. And uh, usually the Android iOS here, this little walkthrough, will give you uh, a driver or tell you how to install the correct drivers for your device. But we actually have added a, a third option here called Try Advanced Recovery Options, or TWRP, uh, TWRP as it's otherwise known, is a recovery method that uh, is well known and uh, used quite a bit uh, in, the, uh, in, in the industry or uh, outside of it if you're looking to root a device. So we've actually integrated that right into Acquire for you. So if you're familiar with it, this is just an easier step for you. Uh, if not, I would definitely read up on it because, uh, like I said, it's a more advanced uh, technique and there are risks that uh, are associated to it. So um, I would definitely look at the uh, Getting Started Guy for Acquire right here, the link here, um, or uh, read up on uh, Twerp uh, as, you, as you'd uh, see fit. Um, specifically for the device you're trying to uh, look at. Like I said, I have the exact model number for the uh, um, Galaxy S5 that we're looking at, um, so I'm already partway there and I know um, this will work for it. So I'm going to hit next. Now you get some advanced recovery options. Well, this is just a, basically a, a warning here. Uh, exactly, very similar to what I said, there are risks involved with doing something a little bit more advanced here. It's a bit more manual. So make sure you read up on some of these options here. Um, go to their site, uh, figure it out, and specifically read the instructions for your specific device. Uh, they are very well detailed and they should help quite a bit. Otherwise, if you know the risks and you're, you're comfortable with that, um, we can continue on here and we hit OK. Now we get uh, our first option here is we need to put the device in download mode. So if it wasn't in download mode, it was actually booted up before, um, just so I can show you, but I'm going to put it in download mode. And you guys can't see this on your, uh, your I, I don't have a camera here in front of you. So I'm uh, putting it in download mode. Most phones, what you can do is you can hit um, the volume down button, the home button, and the power button all together. So I'm going to press that, it takes just a second there, and it goes into download mode. So give it a second here. 
So now that you get, once you get into download mode, the first thing that's gonna come up is a warning on the phone. And again, you can't see this, but basically what it says is a custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone installed applications. If you wanna download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. Well, we don't wanna cancel, so we're gonna hit the volume up key. And now it goes into download mode. Um, so let me, I disconnected the device uh, just to put it into download mode, but let me reconnect it now and it should come up here just in a second. Let's give it another second here. There we go. And we have the Samsung device in download mode. Now, again, there's another warning. I understand the risks involved with doing this, checking this off. So it is a risk that you are taking to do this. So we will do this and we'll find the recovery image. Now the recovery image is not provided to you. You need to go look up the model uh, of your device. Um, I've already done that. I've gone ahead and found the, uh, the twerp recovery image for it and, uh, and downloaded it here. And this is what it, this is what it looks like. It's running, uh, it's for twerp version 3.1 and the, uh, the image is called KLTE uh, here. Um, so I'm gonna select it, hit open, and it gets loaded in there. And then I'm gonna hit the next button. It'll take a few seconds here to uh, go on and then you'll start seeing it downloading onto the phone itself. So I can see this happening on the phone right now. Um, and it says install successful. And now what it does is it restarts the phone. So what we wanna do here is restart the phone in recovery mode. So what I'm gonna do is you can uh, do this yourself or you can, if you let it boot, it'll go into uh, um, boot mode. But instead of pressing volume down, home button, Vol uh, uh, power, I've hit volume up and instead of volume down. This will put it into recovery mode. So you give it a second here. And now we got a new thing on the screen. So now we've got this uh, team win or uh, recovery project, which is twerp. Um, and it's in here, I can install it in that. I don't want to install it. I don't want permanent root. If I would, this was my personal phone and I wanted root access to it, I can install it and have uh, permanent root and that. I don't care about that right now. Um, all I want to do is get a full physical image of it. So we'll leave it as it is and uh, we'll get a temper, it's temporarily rooted and we'll get a full image of it. So let's hit okay. Now we're back to this screen and we can see we've got the phone here connected, same model and everything. Look what's changed. Privileged access, yes. So that means the phone's temporarily rooted for us. So we can follow the same procedure. I can hit next. I can choose full uh, image, and I know it's already rooted, so it doesn't even need to do anything else. It's just gonna get a full image of it. I can choose my imaging options. I'll just leave the defaults on there and hit acquire. And it'll, we'll let it go through, and it'll actually do a full physical acquisition of this phone now. So again, um, it's a bit more advanced of an option. It's gonna, um, you know, it's, there's gonna be some risk involved and it's not gonna work for every device, but this is another option for you to get access to a device you might not otherwise have had access to. Um, the, the really real benefits here are, one, as I showed, if we don't have a root for it and you know there's a, a twerp uh, uh, recovery option for it, that's, uh, that's a great alternative. The other scenario is maybe it's a locked device. This, uh, this device, uh, I didn't have to unlock it in order to get access to. I put it into download mode. I did not have to enable USB debugging to do this. Now I did the first time just so we had seen it there, but in general I didn't have to enable USB debugging or unlock it to get access to this uh, this image. So if you don't have uh, uh, the passcode, this is a, an, uh, an interesting way to bypass that. So uh, again, it's not going to work for every device, but it's certainly working for us here. Okay, so we've stopped and uh, re resumed everything here and uh, the imaging has completed. It's about a 15 gig image, which makes sense. It's a 16 gig phone. Uh, it took about an hour to image and, and complete uh, uh, fully there. Uh, and we can see we have our image completed. Now what you can do is you can just disconnect the phone. It'll still be in uh, TWRP or twerp uh, mode there. Uh, all you need to do is uh, restart it and uh, it will boot into its normal mode and uh, everything should be fine uh, just like you uh, you had left it there. So uh, privileged mode will be off. It'll be back to uh, standard non-rooted uh, device. That's everything I have. Thanks for joining.